Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a full body cardio workout for self love. And at the end of this workout, I'll show you, share with you guys a little recap of our hike through Manoa Falls. All right, community, and come get your mat and your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple one. We're gonna start with a side to side step with the chest flex. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out with my right foot as the arms come out wide. Step my left foot together as the arms come together. Step out with my left, back together. All standing sides right here, team. Good. We're gonna do lots of chest openers today. I feel like when it comes to self-love, um, I do this in yoga a lot, practicing lots of chest openers enables you to be more free with your emotions and come kind of back to your center, being more open. Um, it also helps you share with others what you might need. You know, it just makes you a more open person in general, just that practice of opening up the chest. Let it out. Tell us what's going on. Good team. Good, we do need everything warm today. It's a full body workout. Beautiful. Perfect. Go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel and come to a forwards and backwards jog. So you're just gonna jog it forward and jog it back. Good, so remember to go with your own pace. Get mine, it's just a warm up. Good. Good team. So lots of chest openers today. Lots of smiles. Good. Kind of, we've got some goofy exercises, but it's gonna be lots of fun. Beautiful team. Good, so I went hiking this weekend, um, as I'll share with you guys at the end of this, at Manoa Falls. Oh my goodness, breathtakingly beautiful hike. Good, teams go one more forwards and one more backwards. Good, go ahead and come to your natural squat stance. We're gonna come to squat with shoulder rotation. So as you come down, the arms come down, and as you come up, the arms come up overhead, drawing big circles. Good, team. And you'll feel it if your arms are not in sync with your legs. You'll feel it, it'll feel really funky. I'll <laughs> feel like a funky warm-up exercise. Good, team. Good. Waking up those legs, waking up the arms. I did a five-mile run this morning, so my legs are already awake, but <laughs> let's do it. Good, team. For those of you who didn't do that, let's do this. Good, team. Let's go with a couple more here. Perfect. Go ahead and come back to the top. Come right back into that chest fly. Side to side steps here. Beautiful. So supposedly along this trail that we hiked, um, there's like a couple scenes in Jurassic Park. I can't pinpoint if Jurassic Park just looks like Hawaii in general, but in that inlet trail is where they filmed Jurassic Park and they filmed some movie called Lost. I have never seen or heard of Lost, but it was like both of those were shot here and it's just, I mean, it is gorgeous. Can't wait to share that footage with you guys. I think one act of self-love, honestly, is spending more time in nature. Nature is therapeutic. It's very natural for us to kind of come to a place of peace when we're outside. Good team. Go ahead and come towards the back of the mat. We'll come right back into that forwards and backwards jog. Good. So I'm going to take you guys on, at least how I express self-love is some me time out in nature. Good. You don't have to necessarily go hiking, but Sometimes just sitting outside is helpful. Going for a little walk, you know, fresh air. Good for the mind, good for the body, good for the soul. Good team, good. Let's go one more each here. One more forwards, one more backwards, good. Then go ahead and come into your natural squat stance, back to those squat with shoulder rotations. Beautiful team, open it up. Theme of the day, open up the chest. Good, when you're more open with others, also more open with yourself. Good team. I know the majority of my viewers are women and I train a lot of women as a personal trainer. Good team, let's go with one more here. Perfect, go ahead and come down to all fours. Go ahead and come into a cat cow stretch. So down onto palms and knees right here. We're gonna start with an arch in your back. Look forward, we're working out that spine. And curve, belly button to spine. Feel free to veer off the railroad tracks a bit here. Maybe wiggle a little side to side, find any tight spots. Big arch. And curve. Good, arch. And curve. Let's go one more each. Big arch. And curve. Perfect team, go ahead and come to a neutral spine. Curl the toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into your down dog. Pedal out the feet right here. And then when you're ready, go ahead and step just the left foot up into your runner's lunge. Find your footing here first and then rise up into a high lunge. So pull this left hip crease back, get the left 
So get the right hip tucked up underneath you right here. Should feel a nice stretch in the front of this hip flexor. And then when you're ready here, go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back and pull the shoulders down and away. Big chest opener. Good. Beautiful team, nice strong legs. Good, when you're ready, go ahead and release the hand, straighten out through that front leg and hinge at the hips. Come into this pyramid variation posture. Good team. So you can rise up onto the toe of that back foot right there. A nice hamstring stretch. And then when you're ready, go ahead and bend that front knee, come all the way back down to your runner's lunge, and then go ahead and step that left foot back to meet the right. Shake it off right here with the same little dance on the other side. So go ahead and step just the right foot up here. Find your footing, and then rise up nice and tall right here. Pull the right hip crease back, get that left hip tucked up underneath you. Maybe drop that back knee to really get it under you. And when you're ready, interlace the fingers behind the back. Put the opposite thumb on top this time, so the one that feels a little funky. Pull the shoulders down and away. Sorry, pull the arms down and away, opening up the shoulders. Good, team. Good. Beautiful, deep breaths here. Good, when you're ready, go ahead and straighten out through that front leg. Release the fingers, bring them down into pyramid pose. Good, team. Deep breaths here. Coming onto the ball of that back foot. And keep a nice, generous bend in the front knee. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and bend the front knee, plant both palms, step it back to meet the left. Last little shake off right here. Shake off your fluff, and then when you're ready, we'll take a nice slow walk to the front of your mat, up to meet your hands, meet your breaking point right here, and go ahead and roll it up. Get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our workout. All right, team, so coming into the first half of this workout, this is a no-repeat workout, so we do have 10 different exercises. We're gonna start with some party high knees. Now, you're like, what on earth are party high knees? You can totally just rock it high knees. Now, you can come into marches if you want it low impact, or come into traditional high knees. I say party high knees, where you add a little skip to it. All right, team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. Part of self-love, at least for me, is having goofy moments. Don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. Don't take yourself so seriously. Good team. Life is supposed to be fun. Good team. Beautiful. Um, so like I was saying, I train a lot of women. And one thing I think women are hard on themselves about is we all like talk about our belly fat and specifically. Perfect team. Shake it off. We're going to cut this in sunshine sumo squat. So I'm take the feet nice and wide, wider than they would be in a normal squat. Toes point slightly outwards. Now, I'm going to come down, bring the arms down. As I come up, I'm going to take both arms out and wide, showing a big sunshine with the hands right here. All right, team, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. And I am guilty of this as well, but sometimes we'll like say harsh things to ourselves and thinking, oh, you know, I'm in private. No one's listening, but you are listening. You hear the things that you say, whether it's, I don't like my stomach, I wish I had a bigger butt, or I wish my lips were bigger, <laughs> whatever it might be, team. So be sure that you're speaking kindly to yourself as an act of self-love. Perfect, team, go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel. We're gonna come to some skips forward, because skips are always fun in my opinion, and then two reverse walking lunges back towards the back. All right, team, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Skip to my loo. Good, team. Good. I think it's hard to have a bad time when you're skipping. Good. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so I think that's my top tip for a lot of women, especially my clients. Um, I feel like it always starts with that conversation. I have a lot of mommies and they want their pre-baby body backs. And I'm like, you should be really proud of the fact that you were able to create life. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna come to some stationary lunges. So go ahead and step just the right foot back right here. Left foot's forward. Both legs are straight as I bring both arms up overhead. Then I'm gonna pivot on my back foot, open up, bending the front knee, opening it up to warrior two. High, and then drop it down. All right team, 30 seconds staying on the same side, then we'll switch sides. Are you ready team? Let's work, good. I think it's helpful to get into warrior poses as an act of self-love, as a reminder that you are strong. You are a warrior. Good team. You're doing awesome in this life. Maybe even if you're going through a rough patch, you're trying your best to handle it, and that's what counts. Good team. 
good. So yeah, I have a lot of moms and they all wanna pick on their bellies and they're like, oh, it's called the mum tum. I'm like, that's actually a term. I would like to take that term and throw it in the garbage can, big time. <laughs> Perfect team, same thing, other side, go ahead and step that front foot back. Go ahead and step just the left foot back this team, this time, <laughs> arms come up overhead and we'll open it up. 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Good. Um, that's a horrible term. I was like mum tum, as in like, well, as in the tummy that created a life in it. That tummy, good team, that's something to be proud of, in my opinion, which it's easy to say from the outside looking in, I'm not a mom, but I'm telling you that I am looking at all you moms with so much love and admiration. And I hope that you love yourselves as much as I love you and your kids appreciate you for everything that you've done. Perfect team. Go ahead and step that back foot up. Go ahead and shake it off. We're gonna come to a triple side step to a high knee. So go ahead and come towards one side of your mat or towel. We're gonna go like to a little beat here. Ready? Do, 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 high knee. Do, 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 hey, do, 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 hey. And then we're gonna throw a clap on an each A. All right, team? Don't be afraid to be loud. I'm out in public doing this. So you can totally do this in your living room. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Do, 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 hey, do, 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 hey. Good. Celebrate you. Good team. Celebrate you for showing up on this mat today, working out with me, getting this sweat going. You guys are awesome. Good. Good team. By the way, leave comments because I love connecting with you guys. Good. A few more seconds. Do, 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 do. Hey, do, 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 do. Clap it up. Clap for yourself. Round of applause. Perfect team. Get some water if you need it. And we'll come into the second half of this workout. All right, team, so coming into the second half of this workout, we're gonna start with some star jacks. So go ahead and bring both hands and feet all together right here, and you're gonna jump out into a star, arms go out, legs come out, back to center. If you don't wanna impact, it's also okay to just step it out. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. Good, get that heart rate up. Beautiful team, be a star, you are a star. Good team. Um, but like I was saying, so I mean, even if you're not a mom, like I said, I'm not a mom. I guarantee you, not just women, everybody, by the time they get my age, which I'm 31, has been body conscious at some point or another. Even if we look at said person and we think, oh, they don't know because they have such a great body from the outside looking in. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna come to some single leg deadlift with airplane arms. We're gonna open up that chest. So start with the feet together. I'm gonna send the right foot back and send both arms back into airplane arms, opening up the chest, back to center right here and send the left foot back, airplane arms, back to center. All right, team, keep a nice straight back. Use your booty to stand this back up. We've got 30 seconds alternating sides, team. Let's work. Good. I used to wanna be as lean as I could possibly be. And I wanted like a shredded six pack and big curvy muscles and the works. And I worked really hard to get there and did lots and lots of cardio, lots and lots of lifting, just tried hit training, anything I could get my hands on, I tried. And then I got really lean, you know, I guess mission accomplished. I, was, I liked my appearance. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come towards one side of your mat or towel. This is probably the cheesiest exercise of today, but I don't care, have fun with it, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna come to some heart throb squats. So go ahead and make a little heart with your hands right here, bring it to your heart. Now I'm gonna step out into a squat and press my heart out back to center. Press the heart out back to center. All right team, and then same thing other direction. We got 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Um, so it worked in that I got very lean and in the process of getting really lean, I also lost my period. I'm sorry if that's an overshare, um, but I also lost my period and I was really low on energy. And I know what healthy looks different on everybody. Some people can have great abs and be perfectly healthy. Um, I can't be that lean. I can have like little oblique lines and that's about all I can get. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and come down onto the ground right here. We're gonna work on the core a bit. I think self-love a lot of times when you work on the core it brings you back to the center of your body is really helpful so we're gonna come to some hugs and kisses here we're gonna start with hugs so go ahead and come down 
Bring one knee into the chest, give a little bit of a hug, and then switch. Let the other, let the other leg hover right there, our team. 30 seconds off swing sides right here. Let's work. Good. Um, yeah, I wasn't healthy, I was just lean. And healthy looks different on everybody. Some people can have shredded abs and be perfectly healthy. Um, I'm not one of those people. I can have little oblique lines, but that's about as good as it's gonna get. I can't have a full on six pack and also have a time of the month and everything else that I need. Um, so I had to, you know, overcome this mental barrier to put on a little fat. Perfect team. Go ahead and flip on over. Like I said, we're gonna finish with hugs and kisses. Those were knee hugs. Now we're gonna come to some kisses. So go ahead and come to a plank position, palms and toes right here. Now from here, you're gonna bicep curl. Bring the bicep up, give it a kiss. Mwah. Go ahead and come back down, other side. Mwah. All right, team, if this is too difficult, you can also drop down onto the knees and work from here. All right, team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Pop on up, let's work. Mwah. All right, this is hard to talk because I'm giving myself kisses, but uh, I'll finish my little rant in the cool down. Good team, last exercise. I'm eating my hair too. Good. Protein, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Beautiful team. And don't just do this exercise without giving yourself kisses. You deserve it. Much love to yourself. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful team. Perfect team. Go ahead and drop, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into a cool down. All right, team, so coming into a cool down, go ahead and step towards the front of your mat or towel. And go ahead and step just the right foot back right here. Keep both legs straight. And I'm gonna interlace the fingers behind the back, open up the chest, and I'm gonna hinge at the hips, keeping this nice, flat back shape, all right, team? Don't worry about coming into a perfect, like, shape seven. It's okay if you're coming up higher. As long as you keep that back nice and straight, use your, use your hands here to open it up. Good. So continuing my story, I started to associate, um, you know, being really lean with how that feels, and it doesn't feel great for me. And so I had to overcome this mental barrier to put on a little fat and recognize that that is what healthy looks like on me. Perfect team, go ahead and come up straight right here. Go ahead and release the fingers. Open it up, pivot on that back foot. Open it up into warrior two. Um, and it was like for the first time, I really started to appreciate my what's healthy on me. I was like, my period came back, it took me six months um, after I got really lean. So I'd already lost it. I was like leaning out. And then it was like, I had already lost like three months prior. It was like six months of recovery mode. It's like nine months without a period. And then it came back to me. And then I had to, I came to peace with like, this is what healthy looks like on me. And you know what? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Like I'm not shredded, but I feel good in my body. I feel good and I look good in my opinion, not to brag, but <laughs> in my opinion, and I'm able to perform athletically how I want to. Perfect team. Go ahead and pivot that left foot. We're gonna go ahead and come into a nice wide leg forward fold right here. So just hinge at the hips, let everything go heavy. And working out for me is therapy. It's really um, a necessity in my life for my mental health and mental well-being. Um, and so being too tired to work out is just no. Like, <laughs> that just doesn't pair with the lifestyle that I enjoy, you know? Um, so I like to have enough on me to feel energetic and come out here and run and squat and, you know, jump around and have fun. Good team. Go ahead and roll it on up out right here. We'll do the same thing to the back of the mat. So go ahead and pivot the left, pivot the right foot right here. Nice straight legs and go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back again and hinge at the hips. Good. Opening up those shoulders. I'm going to step my back foot up a little bit. Feel free to adjust your feet however you need. Good. Good. And with that extra weight, it's like I've ran half marathons. I got into CrossFit. I've, I've lifted, I've squatted twice my body weight. Um, yeah, I've just done all these things that just bring me a lot of joy and a lot of pride. Perfect team. Go ahead and straighten it out right here. Go ahead and bend that front knee, open it up, pivot on that back foot, open it up into warrior two. Things that have brought me a lot of pride in what my body can do brought me so much more joy than what it looks like and I don't have a problem with what it looks like either you know I'm like oh this is what healthy looks like on me and I I feel good here and I hope I can help you guys do the same come to that mentality of and that's what to me that's what working out is for I know a lot of clients especially come to me and they're like I want to lose weight or I want to gain muscle or I have a flat butt or can you do this 
And it's okay to start there, but I really hope it becomes something deeper. And that's the message I really wanna share with this channel and why I put out so much free content is it, it's really important to me. And I hope you guys see the beauty in your bodies the way I see the beauty in people's bodies. I'm like, it's amazing what they do for us. Good team. Good, go ahead and pivot that other foot. So you're gonna have this nice wide stance right here. All right, so maybe the other thing was, this might be the second corniest thing to do today, but we're gonna do it anyways. Go ahead and scoop both arms down and then overlap. Give yourself a big hug and just relax here for a moment. Just close your eyes, do me a favor, humor me. Close your eyes, take deep breaths, bring down your heart rate and just be with yourself for a moment. I'm not gonna talk, just be with yourself for a moment. Good. Just notice what this feels like to just, just give yourself a hug, you know? Show some, show some love for a moment. When you're ready, we can go ahead and release, or if you want, you can continue to hug yourself. By all means, knock yourself out. All right, team, I'm gonna go ahead and bring both feet together and come into a mountain pose, palms face forward. And when you're ready, go ahead and bring both palms together and up to the third eye. And please stay tuned for my hike through Manoa Falls. Like I said, spending time in nature is self-love for me, and I actually think it's self-love for everybody. If you haven't given it a try, totally give it a try just go outside and be around trees and ocean it's amazing and this hike through Manoa Falls was just gorgeous and I can't wait to share it with you guys so if you're ready go ahead and bring both palms up to the third eye if you enjoyed this workout please hit the like and subscribe button because I have new workouts every single week and occasional new recipes the divine in me honors the divine in you namaste I'll see you guys next time